Jackson with WCSM FM. Salina St. Mary's, where we do it for you. News, sports, and Here's the latest from ABC News. I'm Brian Clark. Conflicting reports about the fate of the embattled Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. Russia's private Wagner Group says it's taken full control. Ukraine has denied that, but has also said it may withdraw its forces from Bakhmut. At the same time, Ukrainian President Zelensky has arrived in Japan to continue his diplomatic appeal to assist his country. ABC's Terry Moran has the latest from the G7 in Hiroshima. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky arriving in Hiroshima today, getting a red carpet greeting from Japanese officials and bolstered by President Biden's decision to allow Ukrainian pilots to be trained on American-made F-16 fighter jets. A major reversal for Biden after he resisted Zelensky's pleas for months. As he landed, Zelensky tweeting, peace will become closer today. President's team dealing with the stalemate over the debt ceiling as that drags on and brings the U.S. closer to a default. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre at the Japan summit saying yes, they are talking budget cuts, but they aren't tying them to raising the debt ceiling. This is not negotiable. This has been done 78 times since 1960. Back in Washington, D.C., Speaker McCarthy insisting the debt and the budget are connected. But we can't be spending more money next year. Not clear if both sides will continue talks this weekend. Andy Field to ABC News. The 21-year-old IT specialist in the Air National Guard accused of leaking hundreds of classified documents online had his bail denied by a federal judge, says ABC's Aaron Katursky. Jack Texera is in jail after failing to convince a federal judge to free him on bail. His family saying in a statement, Jack's well-being and safety is our priority right now. The judge wanted to make sure Texera stayed behind bars, accusing him of a profound breach of his duty to protect the nation's defense secrets. Who did he put at risk, the judge asked? You could make a list as long as a phone book. This is ABC News. This message is brought to you by BetterHelp. I want to see if you're having this issue in your life. Every time you turn around, it seems like somebody needs you for something, right? The kids, your spouse, your work. Frankly, you're just burned out dealing with everybody else so much, you're spending time on them and not spending time on just you. Maybe you need to talk with someone, and that's where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp can connect you with a professional therapist. This is somebody who is focused on just you, who can give you the tools and the skills you need to find some more me time and to get a little balance in your life. And with BetterHelp, everything is done online. It's simple. You answer a few questions. BetterHelp matches you up with a therapist to best suit your needs. And for some reason, if they're not the right fit for you, BetterHelp will help you find a therapist that is right for you and your schedule. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash MSJ today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash MSJ. Brittany Griner played in her first WNBA game since she spent nearly a year in detention in Russia. Phoenix Mercury star scored 18 points and grabbed six rebounds in the team's loss to the Los Angeles Sparks. Griner also stood for the national anthem before Friday's game, something she had not done several times since 2020. Afterwards, she told reporters how she has now changed. I appreciate everything a little bit more. Um, you know, all the little small moments that, you know, I used to just, like, oh, I'm so tired, oh, I don't want to go to practice today, or oh, this, that. No, um, I think that, that has changed. Vice President Kamala Harris is at the game. Griner thanked her for the administration's work in negotiating her release. The sports world is mourning the death of Jim Brown, one of the NFL's all-time greatest players, a three-time MVP for the Cleveland Browns, who spent just nine years in the league before leaving to pursue a career as an actor. He was also a civil rights pioneer and one of the best lacrosse players of all time. He was 87. Brian Clark, ABC News. Not an early riser. Before noon with Brent Sellhorse can help with that. Tune in Monday through Friday from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Grand Lake's home for the best mix. 96.7 The Way.